I decorated this little tree and I'm going to show you how you can decorate a smaller tree but give it the same love and attention and design and fanciness of a big full-size tree. Hello, my little Christmas elves. Welcome back to the merriest place on the internet. So if you're decorating a small tree this year for whatever reason, this is it. This is, this is your moment. This is it for us. I'm doing a blush tree for this tree. Pinks and reds and it turned out super cute. So if you want to know how to decorate a blush tree, this is also a great video for you. How to decorate a small tree and a blush tree. Thanks for being here. As usual, we are starting with ribbon. I always do ribbon first. This is particularly funny though, because I'm going to end up taking this off about oh, when I'm very almost done. Uh, but I wanted to put ribbon on it and then I realized this tree was not going to be accepting of ribbon and that's just what happened. We'll get into this tree specifically. It's the style of tree. It's a whole thing. We'll get into it. But I do want to say that if you're going to use ribbon on a smaller tree, you may want to consider using something thinner. You don't want a super, super wide, four inch wide ribbon. This is two inch, I believe, and it's perfect. It looks really cute. Um, so you don't need to go super thin with it. You don't need just a little one inch ribbon, but I wouldn't do the really, really big, big fat guys, you know, on there. Um, they're just going to take up all the space and there won't be room for anything else. Uh, unless you want that. Like, as, as I say, every tree is beautiful. There are no rules. I checked. So I'm putting on my ribbon. I did it in this little curly cue fashion. I've got a video up here showing you how I do this ribbon style specifically. And then I just, with the leftover ribbon, I did a quick little two loop bow just at the top to tie it all together. And that will be the beginnings of my topper. And then I went in with really big maroon flowers. And then I went in with my bigger Christmas balls. Now, I want to mention that one of the tricks to decorating a smaller tree is to put it on something. If you put this on the floor, so this is a four foot tree. If you put this on the floor, it's going to look like a four foot tree. And honestly, it's really a three foot tree. That topper branch, there's just one branch that sticks straight up like a little over half a foot to a foot. So like that's the last bit of the tree, but really it's like three and a half feet maybe at the most, I don't know, honestly, but regardless. Put it on something. I've got my tree on a TV tray. I have one little TV tray that I use as all kinds of services for things. But uh, put it on a on a desk, on an end table, on a coffee table, on a, a bin or two with a tablecloth thrown over it. Whatever works for you, okay? A bookshelf, whatever. But get it off the floor because if you leave it on the floor, it's gonna look short no matter what because it is. So if you put it on something, it's gonna trick the eye. A, a lot of people, even yourself, are not gonna notice that it doesn't go all the way to the floor because the top of the tree is at like eye level. And so it just tricks the eye a little bit. And I've got another trick later on to kind of help you give your tree a little more height. Um, but I wanted to talk about that, about putting this, pu putting your tree up on top of something. Um, after I went in with my big flowers, I went in with some, clusters of tulips because they're nice and pink. You know, we're doing reds and pinks and maroons, everything in that blushy, pinky, red color spectrum we're getting on this tree. So I did big maroon flowers and then I went in with bunches of pink tulips. And then I added ornament clusters in all different kinds of reds and pinks and maroons mixed together. Now I'm going in with these cute little curly cute pink picks. These are the ones with the little alligator clippy on them. They're not just a stick, they're an alligator clip and it was difficult to not clamp those on a light cord. So make sure you're watching out for that. Then I tested out these little pink teardrop kind of shaped ones and I finally gave up because, and this is why I'm gonna pull the ribbon off in a little bit too. This is a tree from Walmart and it is in what they call a cashmere style. Now I do not know all the individual kinds of Christmas trees and bristles and things and I should probably do my research on that doing what I do here. But the point is this tree is difficult. Now I'm going in with uh, flower bunches that are a mixture of red roses and red Christmas florals. And then I took this one bunch of pink roses and snipped them off Morticia Adams style and put one or two pink roses in that bundle of flowers just to take up a lot of space on the tree. So that's kind of another one of my rules 
not rules really, but, but hacks, I guess, for a small tree is that anything that can go on a big tree can go on a small tree. Okay. I don't know if I mentioned that, but maybe I already said that. I don't know. Listen, anything that can go on a big tree can go on a small tree. See, we're going to Morticia Adams, another bunch of roses to make a smaller bundle because I love to put flowers on a tree. They just take up a lot of space. And with this tree, like I was saying, like it was notoriously difficult to get anything on it because you can't hang anything on this bristle style. That's why I had to give up on, on those other ornaments and why I'm gonna pull the ribbon off because nothing can be like, like the ribbon can't be secured with the bristles the way I usually do. And you can't hang anything. You can't wire anything around a branch because they're very, they have very, very long needles and they stick out. See, there I am just being like, ribbon, we're through. We have to be through. And I turn them into bows instead because those I can tuck in without having to use a pipe cleaner, without having to use wire, without having to use a hook, because you can't do that with this kind of tree. So if you are looking to purchase a three foot tree and you are beginner-ish or you haven't decorated a lot of Christmas trees, don't get this one. It looks beautiful it looks so soft and so cozy and slightly glamorous it's just a very beautiful tree in terms of style but it is a major pain to decorate so even for someone at like intermediate level that i am i don't dare call myself an expert but like someone who's not a beginner even is gonna have a hard time with this tree mainly because you can't put anything you can't hook or wire anything it has to just be tucked into the bristles with a hope and a prayer and that's it, which is why picks work really well and the clusters worked really well and the bows worked really well. So that's kind of what I stuck with. So I also added in these bows and I have a couple of maroon ornaments that I have and I took apart more flowers to put them here and there and everywhere. And the last thing um, that I added in before I worked on my topper were some very magenta fuchsia-y picks. They're glittery leaf picks. So those are in there as well. Which brings us to the topper. And that is something I want to talk about, especially with a small tree. So we put our topper in. I put a little bit of everything that's in the tree and make sure that that element is in the topper. It's one of my favorite ways to do a tree topper. And then I took these fuchsia, magenta, maroony picks, these deep pink colored picks, and I stuck them straight up. And that is going to give my small tree a lot more height. See, I can get almost another foot if I really wanted to of tree height. So if you have a four foot tree, you could get almost a five foot tree. Now, like I said, this is a four foot tree, but it's technically like three and a half, which is going to put me at like four and a half feet. So try really hard to get something tall in your topper because it's going to make your tree taller. So between putting it on something off the ground and raising it off the ground and then adding picks into the topper, it's almost gonna be unnoticeable as a smaller tree. So keep that in mind if when you're shopping for things to put in your tree or looking at the things that you have, if you have picks, reserve them for the topper if you don't have enough for both and get, and get that topper really, really tall. And with that, I think this small blush Christmas tree is done. Like I said, this tree was a pain in the neck. We argued the entire time, but it turned out really beautiful, so I forgive it. I really actually love how this turned out. This color scheme is beautiful, and it's really just very, very lovely. I love it so much. This tree was very difficult. It turned out crazy gorgeous. But every year I decorate this type of tree. It is a tree from Walmart. I will try to find its equivalent and link it below. It looks great because of the bristle style, but it is, you can't hang anything on this tree. And that is the lesson I have finally learned in the four years I've owned this tree and have just fought with this tree every year. I get there, but it's not fun. Other trees, this would have worked really, really beautifully. It was just harder than it should have been. I love the color scheme. I love the pink to red to maroon. 
I love all the florals. I love all the pics. I love all the sparkle. I love every element on it. However, this is how you decorate a small tree. Use thinner ribbon if you're gonna use ribbon on your tree. Anything that you would put on a larger tree, you can put on a smaller tree. There are no rules. They do make teeny tiny ornaments. I wouldn't put those on a big tree. You can. I wouldn't. Those are, are great for this kind of, of tree, tiny ornaments, just to keep it proportional. But any ornament that can go on a big tree can go on a little tree. Maybe don't go too, too big, but like you can make it happen. You can make it work if that's the ornament that you want to use. But there, there are no rules with this. Anything that goes on a big tree can go on a little tree. Put your tree on top of something. Don't leave it on the floor because it, that, that's going to give it more height. It's going to make it look like it was thought about and not just a tree out of obligation. It's going to make it look like you care about it. Also, lots of room for presents under here. You could just get a lot more presents and like, there you have it. You're all set. Topper, top, toppity, topper. Take your topper tall. Picks are a great option for this. You can, can take the picks that are in your tree, get extra ones, or don't put them in the tree and only put them in the topper, however you want to do it. But this added another six inches to the tree, okay? So it's going to make your tree taller if you put something on the top. These picks are lightweight. They're easy to go in a topper. You don't have to wire them in. They're not going to weigh the tree down with that one little branch that sticks up the top. You're not going to have an issue with that. So get some ribbon bows and picks or florals and picks or just picks, whatever you want, and make your tree taller that way. It's going to kind of trick the eye, make it look a lot bigger and fuller than it actually than it actually is. Lastly, I wanna say that a small tree is a super duper option for a year round tree. If you want to do a year round tree the way I do, I have a tree that I leave up all year long and decorate for every holiday. A small tree is a really great way to, to do that without having a full size Christmas tree in your house all year long. It's also a really great way to get started with a year round tree because you do have to start collecting decor and ornaments that can go on it and this is just less real estate than a big tree or if it's your first christmas tree a small tree is a really great way to get started with ornaments because you just don't need as many from the get-go for whatever reason if you're decorating a small tree i hope this helped you kind of get an idea of some ways that you can zhuzh it up a little bit and and love your tree even though it's tiny tiny but mighty that's it right there if you are decorating a small tree due to space, I do have a video with all kinds of tips on how to save space when decorating your Christmas tree. This video is for you. And for just more of my face, you can click or tap right here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And until we meet again, sparkle on.